Welcome back to another video guys. So just a quick update about the false imprisonment on the Bell Hotel in Epping. If you remember, if you've watched the video, you'll know that uh, security held me there against my will. Police were involved, police turned up. Police didn't take it seriously. Police did not think an offence was committed. Um, I'm going to put the link to that video <clears throat> in a little card above now. So if you haven't watched it, go and watch that video now. So basically, yeah, I put a complaint in last night to Professional Standards, which is basically internally in the police, but they're independent. They deal with complaints. It's the first thing you normally do if you complain. <clears throat> they don't usually go anywhere, to be fair. Um, but I linked the video. And I know for a fact that if a if a high up rank police officer, you know, were to watch that video, it clearly shows that an offence was committed and that I did nothing wrong as well. And it also shows the police should really have acted or have acted at the time and they didn't. So <clears throat> anyway, today I get a phone call uh, from an Essex phone number and it's a chief... Chief Inspector, uh, Essex Police, and I was busy at the time, so he called back 10 minutes later, and I did actually record the phone conversation, or most of it, but I'm not going to play it because, as it's a technically ongoing investigation, uh, I'm not going to play that, but I thought I'd keep it, just just in case, you know, uh, in the future, I could play it at some point, but not not yet. Anyway, the first thing he goes on to say, obviously he's received the complaint and he's calling me in person because he's watched the video, full length of the video, and he agrees with me um, an offence was committed. They should not have detained me. The 999 call handler was in fact correct. They should not have detained me. And I was more within my right, full within my right to the, be there, to be filming, and I did not commit an offence. Basically, so he basically confirmed what we what we all know. Most of us know uh, the trolls will disagree. The trolls will say that, oh, I was in the wrong and I was committing an offence and they were just doing their job, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, anyway, so what the outcome is of the phone call, he's arranged for me to go over to Essex to make a statement. So they're going to take the the reporting of the offence from the security seriously. Going to take a statement from me over in Essex. Um, I've offered to go over there because it will be quicker. I'd rather do it in person than over the phone. I'm going to go over to Essex and do a statement. And then they will, of course, um, proceed to interview those who held me that day. <clears throat> um, I can't say any more than that, really. Other than, obviously, they're taking it seriously now. And... I did request for a different officer to deal with it as I felt that officer um, didn't take it seriously at the time and I'd, I'd feel more comfortable with an officer that I haven't met before that wasn't there perhaps to take the statement and to investigate this properly. So it's good news that they're taking it seriously. Good news that the security will be facing some type of justice. You know, I make a statement, they interview... After that, it's out of our hands. At least the right channels will have then been done. Um, and it's certainly what would have been done if it would have been the other way around. I would have been arrested at the scene, interviewed, statements taken from security. That would have happened. So the fact it's now the other way around, that's good. They're taking it, you know, as they should be. Um, yeah, I, I won't say no more. Everybody's asking me what I'm going to do about it. Um, that's what's happened. I put the complaint in yesterday and today I've had the phone call. Um, and that's it. He asked me if I was happy with, happy with that. I said, yes, of course. Like, that's just what I wanted was for the right, the right channel, the right, um, steps to be taken that would be taken on anybody who commits a crime. And clearly, you know, <clears throat> clearly a crime is committed. So there we go. I'll give any more updates as I can. Um, I won't give too much inf information out on video due to it being uh, technically, it will be an investigation, won't it? So there we go. Thank you.